Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Microsoft Edge Workspaces feature. And what this does is it allows you to share your browsing session, as in what pages you're on and what tabs you have open uh, with other people. And then they can see what you're doing in regards to, you know, just what pages you are on if you want to, you know, take them to a different page, that type of thing. It's not a situation where they can see your computer or watch you move your mouse or see what you're clicking on like that. It's just a way to share your session here. So I'm going to be doing this on two computers on the same screen here, just switching back and forth between them. So hopefully it'll make sense. So you could kind of tell them apart because this one has this guy for an icon and the other one doesn't. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to start a new workspace by clicking on workspaces here. So I already have one open, which I could switch to if I want to, but I'm just going to do a new one. I'm going to call this shared with Cindy, because I'm going to share it with Cindy. And I'll make it pink because she likes pink. Click on done. So now it opens a new window with my new uh, workspaces here. So it's still in preview. So depending on when you're watching this, it may or may not be in preview. And you may have to sign up for the uh, testing period to do so. And when I did it, it was pretty instant after I signed up, so it shouldn't be a problem. All right, so now that we have our workspace here, I'm going to open some tabs by just, you know, clicking on the new tab button and opening some up real quick. Okay, so I got online computer tips, Dell, and Microsoft open here. All right, so now I'm going to share this with Cindy. So I'm going to invite to Workspace. So you could either send them an email or you could copy a link and e email them the link or send it on an instant message. All right, so I have four left out of my five for this trial period here. So I'm going to type in her address. Okay, send the invite email. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to the other computer and we will see how that email looks. Okay, so here's the email. Let's open it up here. Okay, Todd invited you to join the Edge workspace called Shared with Cindy, so we'll join the workspace. So now it has to be done using Edge. So Gmail was open in Chrome, so I get this message here to open Microsoft Edge, and you can check this box to always allow it if you want. So now it's going to open up a session in Edge here. Okay, so now you can see we have the same web pages open in the same tabs here, plus our Welcome to Workspaces tab, which we'll close here. And you can see which one Todd is on with the T next to it. And you can also see that he's here as well. And then you could also invite people from here and see who's in the workspace like that. So if you want to add your own people, you could do so. And then if you come up here, you could invite, you could edit. So let's say we, uh, let's make this green because Cindy decided she didn't want pink. You could leave the workspace. And then if you have multiple workspaces, you get the same options for each one here. Okay, so now let's go back over to Todd, the guy who sent it out, and see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see now the tabs are green here because Cindy changed it. And you can see Cindy's on the Microsoft tab. And uh, she's also listed here as a member. And you could go to their tab if you want, like so. And if you click here, you can see the people who are in the group like that. Okay, so now let's click on the Windows link from Todd. So here's Todd, the original sender here. Okay, so now let's go back over to Cindy and see if it updates her session. Yep, and you can see it changed by Todd. Todd is currently on this tab here. All right, so now let's do a little test. So let's scroll down to the bottom of the Windows page here as Cindy and go back over to Todd. So now you can see Todd's page didn't scroll down. It's still at the top. So it doesn't follow you along the page. It just tells you what page you're on and takes them to the same page or the same tab or same website, however you want to word it. Okay, so now let's open another tab here, logged in as Todd, and we'll go to Amazon. Okay, now let's go back over to Cindy. And I can see she has this new tab open. It's not active because she didn't click on it. It just opens it and it's kind of grayed out until she goes to it to activate it. 
All right, so now let's say Cindy doesn't want Dell open anymore. So Cindy's going to close the Dell tab. So now let's go back over to Todd. So now you can see the Dell tab is closed for Todd too. So now let's go back over to Cindy and leave the workspace. So by clicking on the workspace name, let's leave it. Okay, so now it's closed. So let's go over to Todd and see if he still has it open. Okay, so Todd still has it open. Okay, so now let's go back here again. Let's invite to workspace, but this time we'll copy the link. And to show you how it works exactly the same, let's go back over to Cindy. Let's close her windows here. And just go into this window here, paste it in. Okay, so she's back in. Okay, so you can see Cindy, since she is not the owner of this workspace, could invite people, edit, or leave. And so now let's go back to Todd, who does own the workspace. Now he could delete the workspace if he wants. But first, let's see what happens if Todd, who is the owner, leaves the workspace. And then we'll try deleting it. So let's leave first. Okay, let's go back to Cindy. Okay, so Cindy is still in the workspace, even though Todd has left it. So that's good, you know, just in case she has it shared with other people. Okay, so now let's go back over to Todd. And go to the workspaces. Now you can see, since he left the workspace, it's been removed. But I don't think this is what it, how it's supposed to work, because it should still be here. So I think this is kind of a bug. So I'm going to join this one here. Okay, now I'm going to leave it. Workspace will be removed for your device, blah, 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 leave. Okay, so now that one is gone as well. So it might be the case if you leave it, you're out of luck getting it back. So now let's just try something else here. Let's call this test. Let me just open a few tabs here real quick. Okay, so now I'm going to just close it instead of leave it. I'm just going to close the edge all together here. And close Chrome while I'm at it. Let's go back in. Okay, so now let's go back up here. Here's my test. Just like that. So if you leave or delete a workspace, it's going to be removed from your computer. And if you leave a workspace while you're sharing with someone else, it's just going to leave it for you. So let me share this with Cindy and then try and delete it. So let me close this other workspace here. Okay, so now we have the workspace shared with Cindy and opened by Cindy. So let me go back over to Todd who created it and delete it and let's see what happens. Delete it for you and all its members. Okay, let's go back over to Cindy's computer. Okay, but you can see she's still in it. But I bet you if we close the browser and reopen it, Now this is one problem I've run into before, where if you're using workspaces and then you close them out, you can't open Edge again, no matter what you do. So I'm going to reboot this computer and then we'll try it again after that because that seems to be the only way to uh, get it going. Okay, so now we have Cindy's computer rebooted. So let's see what happens if we try and open Edge again and see if that test workspace is still there or not, even because it was deleted by Todd. Okay, no workspaces tab might be a profile thing here. So let's go back to Cindy's profile. Okay, now it shows up, so that's nothing you're gonna have to look out for uh, if you have if you're using the profiles on Edge, uh, it might affect this as well. Okay, so here's test. This was deleted by Todd, yet she could still get into it. Okay, so that seems to be a little buggy. So let's go to Todd's and double check that one more time. Okay, so let's go to Todd's workspaces here. So Todd has nothing here. So that's kind of interesting as well. 
So that doesn't seem right, um, that Cindy should be able to open a deleted workspace, but that could be something they're working on. Like I said, this is just a preview version, so I just wanted to kind of go over it. So you might run into these little bugs while you're using it until they finalize it. Um, hopefully they'll get it straightened out pretty soon so it's working properly because it looks like it might be a pretty cool feature. All right, so hopefully that made sense, kind of going back and forth between those computers there. Um, but just wanted to give you the basic idea of how it works, and then you could uh, try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.